Greetings and salutations. I'm back down the shed again with my co-host, The Pool Pump. And now for something a little bit different. I'm not gonna be building anything this episode because I wanted to talk about the importance of finishing your projects. Now, this feels like one of those, well, duh, you wanna finish your projects kind of ideas. But you'll be surprised how many people simply give up or they hit a wall or one of numerous reasons that we all go through when it comes to building something and it's just not working or it's just not happening the first thing i'm going to say right off the bat is no i'm not trying to blame anyone i'm not trying to say you you're not doing your hard work you're not working hard enough or anything like that no none of that i don't believe it i and also don't believe it's constructive to criticize somebody for giving up because we've all done it I don't think there's a builder out there that's ever gone from start to finish in one setting, or at least they haven't had any setbacks in the entire time they've been building. You know, sometimes a project can go absolutely swimmingly and you just go from point A to point B, C, D, all the way to F, Z, whatever, no issues whatsoever. But those are few and far between admittedly. There's always going to be some complication, whether it's a tool malfunction, a material malfunction, lack of materials, you've just run out of freaking paint, you've got to wait till payday to get the one thing, life gets in the way and the project shelved. I mean, I'm glancing around my shed and I'm just picking up things that are like half finished, half done kind of does make you feel bad but you shouldn't get hung up too much on that this is a positivity video and i want to come at this as positively as possible because if you've seen my failure is always an option video that's kind of where i'm kind of going at with that is don't see your failures as defeat do try and see them as either temporary setbacks or things you can improve on. Sometimes things just don't work. It's either through blunt, dumb luck, lack of experience, lack of knowledge, the timing isn't right. You know, it's, hell, sometimes you properly the weather can be against you. If you just need to get that crucial painting done and there's just so much humidity in the air that your paint is just failing, this happens. See these things as learning experiences. The best thing you can do, especially in as a builder, is to learn from your mistakes. It sounds so simple when you say it out loud, but it is kind of true. Why did this go wrong helps you figure out how to avoid things going wrong in the future. Finishing a project is almost a skill in and of itself, as stupid as that sounds. It's actually incredibly easy to start something. It's harder to finish it. It's also very easy to get in over our heads when we are lacking in the knowledge or lacking the expertise or we come across an unexpected issue. We then just go, oh well, I'll come back to it later. And most of the times, that's actually a really good idea. Coming back to a problem later gives you time to think on it. But people come back to a problem never. I'm guilty of it too. I mean, I'm, I'm incredibly guilty. I've still got all these mechleths here. I even said I want to get these done by the end of January. I just haven't had time. I haven't done it. But I'm still working on it. I'm also focused on doing these videos. And I figured, well, you're probably getting a bit sick and tired of me constantly doing these things about mechleths, even though I think they're a good way to demonstrate techniques. You probably going, nah, I'm getting sick and tired of this thing. Do something different. That's probably more on me than you. So I guess the question becomes, how do we teach ourselves to finish projects? That can be sometimes as easy as setting a deadline. And not just setting a deadline, setting a timeline of how you want to get stuff done. Actually, the funny thing is I find myself with a tighter deadline, I tend to work harder and faster and sometimes better. <laughs> as terrible as that sounds, because you're really not supposed to do that. But let's say I've got this convention end of June. I want two costumes to be completed. I've got three months. Now, some people will go, yep, I'm going to get all that done it's away some of us go okay i can work a bit on that bit on that bit on that and that's sort of all right but you really still need to have a goal of finishing so let's say i'm doing two costumes for supernova end of june my plan at the moment is to get this one costume done by the end of march now i've got one bit more free time than i have the last few months but I'm also on limited resources, so I've got to figure out when I want to do everything and get it done. If I can get like the small bits done, like the shoes and the claws, and then I can focus on maybe things like the leggings, and then the arms, and the body, and then the head. I've got that to do in 30 days. So even if it takes me 
two days here, two days there, two days here, two days there. I reckon the body is probably going to be the biggest one, I mean, quite literally, but I mean, as in logistics wise, because I've got to manage sheets of material. I've got to add the details. I've got to do, a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things on that one. I could do that first and put all my energy into it, but I think I'm going to be better suited to get a lot of the smaller bits done and then do that last. The reason being is that if I can, my mentality is, is that I'm not having to try and restrict some areas to how it's going to apply to that. I could build what I've got and then figure out how to attach it to the big thing later. I'm working backwards. That's just my method for this. But at least I have a plan. My ultimate goal is to get everything done and painted by at least probably my birthday. This gives me a buffer of time that if anything goes wrong, I can fix things, I can change things. But if I'm planning to finish just before the end of the month, I'm kind of screwed. Now, once March is done, then I'm going to be moving on to my Dr. Octopus costume. It's going to be very different from what I've done in the past. So I want the extra time to really work on getting the tentacles right. It looks like I'm going to be personally making my own suit. And I suck at things like collars. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. So there's going to be a lot of sewing. I reckon I can get the sewing done in a week or two. That's including making the templates. I've got a ton of material. And that's also going to have to include things like adding buttons, probably asking friends for help with tailoring, making the pants, uh, stuff like that. And I'm deciding still if I want to make a platformed boot to attach myself to and give me extra height. So it looks like I'm lifting up by the tentacles. So that's a matter of like, how do I do that? Do I want to make Doc Ock look a bit shorter? So do I raise the shoe above my feet itself? And then how do I make that sound make it look good? So just things like that. It's, it's just one of those juggling acts that you get a good idea and then you want to see how you can make it work. So that's going to be fun. And I might have another costume for Supernova, depending on if I can get organized with my friends who are coming over from overseas. Because if that is actually happening, I'm going to need a ton of work to get that done. I'm going to need a ton of resources, a ton of materials. That's going to be, that's going to be a toughie just on a conceptual level. So yeah, I've given myself at least three sort of costuming goals this year, and I've got to get them all done by the end of June. So, I mean, even if I don't get this robot done by the end of March, it's the stretch goal is going to be June. It's just going to be that thing where I want to get it done and work on Ock. Having a goal helps you determine what it is, but you still need to put in the time and effort. If you don't know what's going wrong or you're having difficulty trying to get something done, talk to someone. Look online for an online tutorial. Do some research. Asking people is probably your easiest bet. Going to maybe a shop where you bought the uh, your products from, could be JCar, could be Super Cheap Auto, could be Bunnings or whatever. Asking people there what's going wrong or, you know, okay, I'm trying to do this and this is not working. What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? That's probably going to help you out more than anything. If you know somebody who's an expert in a thing, just ask them and say, hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but I've got this issue here. What's going wrong? I need, or at least can you point me in the direction where I can find an answer? You'll be surprised how many people love being asked about their expertise or you can just blindly experiment that's kind of what i've been doing here i mean i looked online and i went as much as i respect the person's uh, expertise in the matter i want to know if this is going to work for me or particularly my climate because heat can be a thing and as i said yep yeah, what they said about subaru was pretty good this was tough enough so let's actually take a quick look at incentives as much as you know, finishing the project and getting a cool robot out of it sounds good in theory, does this actively incentivize you? And that can be as big an issue as anything else. So do you set yourself up with some goals in your timeline and say, hey, if I do this, I get the night off. If I can complete this much work, I go and watch a movie. Do I finish up to this point and then I'm going to go get a burger or get a beer? Or do I go out for the evening? Or do I go, I've completed all my work up to this point. I'm 
weeks ahead, I'm going to have a couple of days off to decompress. And sometimes even if something is going wrong, move away from it, decompress. Sometimes your mind will just still keep on ticking over, but sometimes that can actually help figure out a solution. Because at least your brain is going, I'm not giving up on this. And maybe moving away is helping you think laterally enough to give you a solution. Other times you just get frustrated as all hell because your brain just doesn't want to shut off and you don't know how to fix the thing. Speaking of finishing, if you like this video, please click like, share and subscribe, hit the bell down there and leave a comment below on how you like to finish your projects or what gives you an incentive to finish your projects, not just the actual outcome. Or maybe that's it, maybe you just go, well, the actual finished product is the reward I need, which is great. Let, let's just not bullshit here. Sometimes just the incentive of getting the project done is enough. And anyway, I'm releasing the Back Down Shed videos on a Monday and Friday with a separate video on a Wednesday slot. If you have any ideas for what you want me to tackle or tools you want me to talk about or techniques you might want me to explore, please let me know. And so until next time, see ya.